Hey everybody, MUHerd37 here, and Just Flight this morning has released Air Hauler 2, the early access upgrade for owners of Air Hauler. Now this is an early access version, so there could be some bugs and stuff like that. We'll see if we uh, encounter any in this one. Now if you buy it right now, it's $29.99. They say the usual price will be $52.99, and that's if you already own Air Hauler, uh, the original Air Hauler. If you don't own it, you can still buy the early access version for $37.99. And I have already uh, purchased it and downloaded it, so we'll take a look. Now, when you install it, uh, download it, you'll install it, and it'll ask you which version of Air Hauler you have, whether it's the original disc that you bought from them, the download version. I actually have the German disc version that I actually got off Amazon.com. But you'll tell it which one uh, you have. You log into your uh, Just Flight account and get it installed. No reason to show that, it's just you install it. It's very, obviously, very basic. Now, Air Hauler 2, one thing I would do is go to over uh, right click properties, compatibility, and run run it as an administrator. Uh, you had to do that with the original Air Hauler, you could get problems. And pretty much anything with FSX, you should. they always tell you when you're installing things or running things, uh, run it as an administrator. So we'll go ahead and open it up here. And I've already run this once to take a look at everything. I, a lot to learn, though. Now, you can import your original company from Air Hauler 1. Uh, delete company. This is just where you manage the company. Cancel, quit, new company, load company. So we're going to do a new company. You can use it with FSX, FSX Steam Edition, Prepared 3, version 1, 2, and 3. That's, I think that's very cool that they're, uh, they're compatible with all those. Because you know, a lot of people use Steam Edition, especially now. I don't, I use the regular uh, box version, I guess you could say, the old version. Was it gold? I can't remember. FSX. All right, company name. I'm going to name, I think our last one was YouTube Cargo or something. So I'm going to YouTube Airlines. Because this isn't, Air Hauler is not anymore just cargo. Uh, you'll see there's humanitarian missions, um, stuff like that. Uh, you can do passenger, there's all kinds of stuff, so I'm just going to call it YouTube Airlines. My pilot handle, as always, MUHerd37. I'm going to put that my name is also MUHerd37. Alright, here's our difficulty. Two million dollars. Uh, cash on hand with a 60% reputation and a passenger, I guess it's a passenger configured plane, uh, 737. Uh, One million dollars, 60% reputation and a Learjet. $500,000 on medium, 50% uh, reputation in a Cessna Caravan, hard is $250,000, 40% reputation in a Cessna 172, little sky, it'll be the default one I guess. In career, $100,000, 20% reputation in a Cessna 172, that's obviously the hardest one, and that's the one I'm going to choose. I got like 250, 260 episodes of Air Hauler, so I love Air Hauler. I I love these games where you actually have to build something up, and uh, I like it to be difficult. So that's what we're going to choose. All right, now you need to choose your base. Now, I'm going to use KHTS. That is Huntington Tri-State Airport in Huntington, West Virginia. That's, I guess, my local big airport uh, for passengers and stuff like that, although it is not very big, obviously. Here's uh, some details about that airport. Elevation 827 feet. Uh, the coordinates, landing fees, 47, 974, 1948. I can't remember if that has to do with weight or also axles. I can't really remember. And then the price of the fuel, 570, and Jet A is 680. It tells you the runways. And one thing I like about that, they actually updated uh, this. Huntington actually has uh, not just 3 and 21, but they have a smaller one perpendicular. I can't remember the, the runway numbers. Um but technically it's not actually used anymore. I think the runway is still there, they just don't use it. And so it's just list 3 and 21. All right, some game options. Use Air Hauler 2 weather generation. We're not gonna click that. I've got Opus FSI. Uh, use networked mode while I'm running on the same computer that I'll be flying on, so we don't need to do that. Although that is a pretty good option. Uh, Hopefully, if I ever build another computer, uh, it will have to be a better one. I can't run off my laptop and record on the laptop. Laptop's getting old, or I would actually probably do that. It's kind of nice. And ignore water airports. We've never used float planes, but I think you can change this in the game options later on. So I'm just going to ignore it for right now because we obviously won't have a float plane. If we do, it won't be for a while. 
All right, that's it. You're ready to go. Click finish to open your company. You'll need to complete a type rating uh, test in your aircraft before you can fly it. That's pretty cool, but we're not actually going to do this uh, that in this episode. That'll be in episode one. And you can find the type ratings in your personal details page. All right, so we'll generate some jobs. And you can see it's got a new look. Here's the office. Now, you do, uh, you do not have a type rating for this aircraft. Take the type rating test now. We're actually not going to do that, like I said. Okay, so this is the office. You can see down here, it'll, when you hover over with a mouse, it will uh, tell you different things. Financial, my cargo jobs, let's see, available jobs, a fleet hangar, stuff like that. We're going to go over to the jobs map. In our base, Huntington. Uh, so you can see all these. If you want to, uh, you can organize it by where they're uh, originating, KHTS, as you can see, all these different little airports. Uh, if you want to look at where they're... Uh, Organize it to where they're going. You can do that distance wise, uh, the cargo. And it's nice that my cargo is in English. I bought the German version of the game. And when you installed an update, I could get everything else in English except the cargo. So, like I said, I had the German version. I even told it that I had the German version, but everything's in English. I'm very happy about that. Uh, the quantity, that's actually going to be the weight. I'm going to move this out a little bit. In the fee, if you want to. Uh, that's one of the best ways, especially early on, to organize it. Fifty-seven hundred bucks, six hundred pounds of seafood. You could fly that uh, in your uh, little Cessna. That doesn't pay much. Fifty-seven hundred bucks. Uh, we usually get over a million in the jobs we do now in air hauler. And you can accept the job, assign it to an AI pilot, assuming you have one, and fly now. I don't think you want to click fly now, or else you won't be doing your job. But you can see over here as well. Passenger routes, obviously we don't have a passenger plane, we can't do anything. Commodity uh, stocks, this tells you a price of a different commodities and stuff like that. There is a stock market version of this. There was one in Air Hauler 2, but I think they cut that off early on. Uh, missions. Aircraft. I'm trying to read it from the side. Aircraft, pilots, and stocks. Airport chart. That's kind of a cool little addition here. Not for real, real world navigation, obviously, but it tells you some different stuff about on the chart about uh, the airport and part shop. I guess you can buy parts and stuff like that. Now, accepted jobs. Obviously, we haven't accepted any, but this is where you would be able to uh, handle all of those, cancel it, sign it, or whatever. Routes, yeah, we don't have anything to configure. So ad hoc flight, yeah. Nothing configured. For, those are, for, I guess, for, yeah, passenger operations. So, like I say, you, it's not just cargo anymore in air hauler. You can do passengers. You see humanitarian missions, none of currently available. Radar, you can see where other people are flying. Nobody's flying just yet. It just came out. And here's the air hauler 2 forms, if you want to go look at that. All right, so this is the cargo jobs and passenger route. It's kind of like the main window that you use. Company information. You just look at uh, different information like your base, your fleet. Uh, we have our little Cessna 172 Skyhawk. Uh, different information, cargo reputation. Uh, we got to build up all those. That kind of sucks. So you got uh, reputations for all cargo, passenger, mission, and overall. That could be extremely hard to build up. We didn't have. We only did the cargo, obviously, last time. Here's your uh, pilot information. Corporate info. Oh, we already looked at that. Uh, finance the company cash one million on, and you can see here. Uh, there's different things you can do extra right here. Ledger, loans, stuff like that. ATM. Personal info in your office that we already looked at. Factories and construction. This is kind of odd. I was looking at this a little bit earlier. Factories. You can actually build factories and produce and have them produce things that you actually gain money from. And I don't know if you then like take what you have uh, created and have to fly that somewhere. I'm not sure because we obviously haven't gotten into the game. But uh, factory details, stock manufacturing, manufacturing queue. Let's see, items. See, components 
required to produce. And you've got all this stuff, aircraft parts, uh, animal feed, artwork, baby tools, all this kind of different cargo that will be hauling. In construction. So I guess you own parts inventory. I, and see uh, ship, ship parts to base. I don't quite know about the whole construction of factories. Like I say, this is something completely new. And we haven't gotten into the game. I guess later on we'll be finding out all kinds of stuff like that. Marketplace. Here's uh, we can look at all your different uh, aircraft, or not your aircraft. But aircraft that are, are available. As you can see down here on the bottom right, you can buy aircraft, the lease the aircraft. Look at all, everything. Manuf do it by manufacturer, the type, uh, cruise speed, maximum takeoff weight, cargo capacity, max fuel, max range, and the cost and all that. All right, crew. We don't have any crew. We can't hire anybody because we haven't. Uh, we're at twenty percent. I'm not sure exactly how high you have to get until you can uh, buy planes and hire pilots in uh, this version. Banks in loaning or loans in banking, I should say. So we obviously don't want to borrow any money. Probably can't borrow any money. Our little company and private sales of uh, different aircraft. Stock market, my portfolio. We obviously haven't bought anything. Probably won't for a while. We don't have much money. We gotta put everything that we can for planes and stuff like that. Market and stock data. They actually have, if you look at the markets, they actually have a fair amount of markets. I'm kind of surprised about that. Simple. What is Apple? I think it's AAPL. Isn't it? Yeah, Apple. Something like that. Pretty cool. So you can actually. Uh, make money and lose money with your company investing in stocks. I think that's very cool. I actually have a, a degree in finance, and so I'm kind of into the stock market and stuff. Management, manage your aircraft. Now, this is where you can um, mess with the details and things uh, such as that. Aircraft data, this is where you import your aircraft. This actually has image. I'm not sure why it has an image. Now you can't bring up the image right now. Can you? No. That's all right. And then your uh, third-party airports, if you want to bring them into Air Hauler 2, so Air Hauler 2 knows about them and everything, uh, you can add them in here. But yeah, this is just an overview of what you can do. Like I say, we won't do the test uh, right now. We'll do that in the next episode. Just want to show everyone it's completely new and I cannot wait to get into this and uh, like I said this is early access they said there could be bugs and uh, such I haven't seen anything uh, really just yet and hopefully when the they said that they do believe that I believe this is what they said that when the final version comes out uh, you will be able to take if you've already created a company in air hauler 2 you will be able to continue on and not have to start a, a completely new one so hold your fingers that that holds true all right, but that's going to be it for this, uh, everybody. Air Hauler 2 is finally out. We've been waiting so long for it. It was supposed to be out over a year ago, I do believe. and uh, But it got hung up. Finally, finally it's out. I cannot wait to get into this. So check back in next time, everybody. We'll do our uh, little rating uh, flight, and we'll see what else we can get done in that episode. But I uh, can't wait to do it. I hope you all, or I think most of you guys are excited as I am. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode.